The following scenarios are of a young, well-educated Aboriginal woman who has returned to her community after setbacks linked to a life-threatening illness. They are intended to promote reflection and discussion. As you watch the segment, consider the following questions. What is happening? What issues does it raise? What emotions come to your awareness? What implications does it have for how we practice? Hello, Jesse. I'm Dr. Jones, and I'll be handling your case while Dr. Murphy's away. It says here that you're from an Aboriginal community. What exactly is that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing. Uh, it's not supposed to mean anything. How are you doing today? What do you think? Murphy drops the you're very ill on me and then he leaves town. I just finished my graduate studies. I had a great career all planned and then this illness thing happens. I may never know what it's like to be married or have children. My brother and sister act like I'm contagious and my parents haven't talked to me in years. Are you having any symptoms? Pain? Discomfort? Well, I really wouldn't know if you guys keep me so drugged up, which is fine by me. Would you like to speak to someone from the First Nations Health Program? Oh, oh back to the Aboriginal thing, hey, Doc? Listen, I told you I left this place a long time ago. Nobody even knows me anymore. I don't even know why I came back. Well, let us know if there's someone you want to get in touch with. And I'll be back tomorrow. Hi, Jesse. I'm Dr. Jones. Can I sit down? Whatever. You won't be staying long. Why is that? Because I'm an angry person. Nobody wants to be around a person like me. That's okay. I've, I've got thick skin. And you've got a right to be angry. But when you want me to leave, I'll leave. Whatever. So, have you and Dr. Murphy talked? Yeah. He told me I was sick. Very sick. So how's it been going since then? Why do you think I'm so angry? It's OK to be angry. Right. Yeah, right. I was numb at first, but now I'm angry. I spent all those years working on my degrees. I gave up everything for them. For what? This? So have you done any reading on the grieving process? I was part of my first degree. Then you'll know that Anger is part of that process. First hand. Is there anybody that you'd like us to get in touch with? Well, I heard about this group, First Nations Health Programs. I was wondering if they could, well, I've been away for a long time. Maybe it's time I reconnect. I'll have your nurse give them a call. Thank you. Aboriginal people live in a world of at least two major contrasting and sometimes competing realities. Many have become acculturated and have experiences, values, and worldviews more aligned with what is considered mainstream. It's important to remain non-judgmental, ask open questions, listen non-defensively, and resist stereotyping. Providing an opportunity for disclosure can offer important cues about non-physical aspects of care, such as personal loss and family and cultural disconnectedness. Psychosocial aspects are often the starting points for goals of care that address deeper personal and relational concerns, which often contribute to broader existential suffering. <laughs> 